This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Tuesday, April 11, 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. President Muhammadu Buhari is set to visit Saudi Arabia on official visit from Tuesday, April 11 to 19. This would be his last trip to the kingdom as Nigerian president. Presidential spokesperson Garib Shehu says the president during the visit will perform Umrah, the lesser pilgrimage, and will be accompanied by his aides. Repair and construction works on two major highway projects by the federal government in Lagos are ongoing as planned and as scheduled. Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashola took an inspection tour of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, reassuring the public that the main carriageway will be completed ahead of schedule on April 30. According to the minister, several efforts are ongoing to keep pace with construction speed in spite of challenges of high vehicular volume, impact of bad soil, reckless driving by impatient motorists and other technical issues. Fashola says with the completion of the highway, some properties will be relocated. Law and order must return to the highways with motorists adhering to transportation rules, disappearance of motorcycles, tricycles, and of course, street trading. On the reconstruction and rehabilitation works on Lagos Badagri Expressway, Mr. Fashola says tremendous progress has been made on all the three sections of the highway beyond when the project started in 2015. As part of of the demonstration of its leadership role in Africa, Nigeria kicked off construction of its part of the Lagos Abidjan Highway, which serves over 40 million commuters traveling all the way to Ivory Coast. The expansion of the Lagos Badagri Expressway, a major gateway connecting Nigeria and neighboring West African countries, was conceptualized in 2009 by Fashola's administration when he was Lagos State Governor. Fashola asked for more patience on the completion of the Lagos Ota Belkuta Expressway, promising to give updates soon on the proposed GLOW tax credit for the Lagos or Taidi Roko project. The minister was accompanied by the special advisor to the governor on works and infrastructure, Aramidi Adeyoye, Commissioner for Transportation, Frederick Oladende, and federal commissioners and engineers with the Federal Ministry of Works. The largest ever joint military drills by the U.S. and Philippines are rolled in a day after China concluded large-scale exercises around Taiwan. Over three days, China's military rehearsed blockades of Taiwan in response to the island's leader meeting the U.S. House Speaker last week. Washington criticized China's display of firepower as disproportionate, while Taiwan President Tsai said it was irresponsible and she had the right to make visits to the U.S. The U.S. drills had earlier been planned Filipino and U.S. officials say the drills show their commitment to peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region that is open and free. Washington announced last month that their annual Bali Curtain exercise with the Philippines would be their largest ever, involving more than 17,000 troops, including 12,000 from the U.S. And that's the uh, news show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trill. And always remember that when everyone around you is doing something wrong, ensure you're doing the right thing. Be a good Nigerian and have a pleasant day.